is Lana Way. Um, it is July the 9th, 2020. It's Lana Way, baby wife. Um, I was just thinking about that. I'm at Burger King. This is my, work, my workout suit. Um, today was an okay day. A little odd things happened, but you know, just, um, you know, I don't know any, you know, I don't take it personally. I don't know anyone here personally, so there's no need for me to take it personally. But um, I noticed people are still coming into Burger King with no mask, and it's easy to, to not recognize, especially if your mind is on something else, whatever, um, to re not recognize they don't have a mask on. So I wrote a note to try to help me remember. Today I called two or three, maybe three to four people. And usually what I say when people come into Burger King, I say, um, now, to just help me remember and also so to let them know what I pre we appreciate it because obviously um, I don't you know I was thinking I, you know I don't want it's not you know business wise I don't want to be like do you have a mask do you have a mask but I was like you know I just say thank you for wearing your mask um, welcome to Burger King um, that sort of thing um, or um, like a few people today and, and in the past like I was telling you many times guests have tried to come in with no mask on and I try to catch them um, I, so now I, you know, because I was told they could pull up their shirt over this area here, and um, t we can take their order. So I t asked them to pull up their shirt. Actually, I did that today, um, and but um, James gave um, one or two customers a mask after I did it. I think it was one, but I, I think it was another customer he, uh, from Burger King gave him a mask. One of them, or so, and I remember because one of them was a pale skin guy, and uh, he said, "What's up?" I think he knew him, and the other one. Um, Possibly, I'm not sure if he gave him a mask, but I just know that, um, anyway, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to stay on top of things, but still somebody might, you know, it, it should be a team effort. Everyone should be looking to see, but I don't know if they do, I don't know, but I know for me, I am. Um, I was thinking one guy that looks maybe pale or all the way, I was like, gosh, I wonder if they have a mask on. Because once again, if you're working, if you're thinking about other things, you're thinking about an order, if there's some type of confusion, like for instance, uh, about drinks, uh, what have you? It could, you know, you you can easily go and run and take an order and not realize the person don't have a mask on. So these are my little notes here for um, to wear a mask. Another thing I was thinking about the Wayne Buffett Bay in reference to spirit. You know, so many times I hear spirits, um, um, like mainly that which is would be under the status of Negro, Black, or African American would say something about somebody being racist as I walk by it's like racist what are you talking about so we but then knowing that we are among something okay for instance then this is uh, the imbalance that I can see that you speak of now um, now we, we already know that the United States jurisdiction is not considered civilized in reference to health that is not a maybe it is true so in that, you have um, a cesspool of um, venereal diseases, you have a cesspool of virus, we in the, we right now we're in the coronavirus pandemic. So um, what I find interesting is um, when, you know, when you hear someone speak of, um, uh, hold on, someone said that the manager is James, so I think I'm in the video, I'm just saying somebody would just, I don't know. When you, when someone, when you're dealing with imbalance and mentally ill illnesses, and you're dealing with unclean spirits, okay, you dealing with this is unclean, then you, anything you cannot rationalize the thought process. So you now someone that maybe have a venereal disease, or um, not not putting someone down that has a venereal disease, or even if they HIV positive, you my um, I would just I, I I meant to upload a video to you. But um, I was good fr friends with a lady who was HIV positive. She had two kids, two, two children, excuse me, two children, um, two girls. I had Imani and Abbas. And I, so the, our kids played together. Um, so uh, she told me she was HIV positive. She was straight up. And um, that didn't stop me from being her friend. And um, she um, babysit. Uh, no, what, no, she didn't never babysit anyone. But she, definitely, she. We, I let the kids play. Her kids were not positive. Uh, our kids play together, and we hung out. It's not let. You know, I wasn't like. It's so because I educated myself on um, the HIV virus. I educated myself, and I was like, uh, and she was straight up. You know, and she showed me her medicines she had to take. 
Uh, she smoked marijuana. I think it was medical marijuana. As far as I know, she smoked a lot of marijuana. She said it helped her. So um, I stayed with I stayed friends with her until I moved away from her. And um, things um, things got a little hectic. Um, so anyway, um, in reference to some things were going on personally. So anyway, I ended up moving away from her. It wasn't from her, but from the area where we were staying in, and, and we just lost contact. But um, so in other words, um, it's been, you know, someone can have a disease or a virus and you educate yourself. You don't be like, stay away from me, you know, that sort of thing, you know, and uh, try to do something, some harm to them or anything like that. Um, sh she was so kind. She was nice. We, she, she just had, she had HIV. She was straight up. I, she said, I, I'm HIV positive. And um, I saw the challenges she went through okay and i mean she actually she still she stayed like two um, apartments down from me so we went to one another houses all every we went to one another place or maybe you know, maybe three three apartments down from me so we went to and visit one another constantly so um it's not what what i find is let me go down to the other table so what I find interesting is but one thing she would say is how to she did not want to spread HIV Islam so uh, she was cautious about not spreading HIV Islam so but when you're dealing as far as I know you know as far as I I remember okay now I wasn't with her all the time but that's as far as I remember now but when you're dealing with unclean spirits and balance who might be affected with something and they are, instead of them um, trying to uh, contain themselves, okay, could be herpes, um, gonorrhea, um, chlamydia. Uh, there's so many different types of viruses, okay. And instead of them trying to kill themselves or, or maybe contain themselves, they 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 are trying. They actually are. Um, um, they if they think somebody else has it. They want to hook up with that person and just spread it amongst one another. Just give it to one another, you know. And they and that's a love. That's that's love. <laughs> and you, you know, I, you know. So is that not sick? That's not. That's sick, right? Uh, so um, that's that's imbalance. Um, so or they start saying I pay, you um I paid to do this. Or, um, or your race. So, me being a person who um, definitely, um, me being a person who is definitely in the mental health, physical health, and um, cleansing my spirit, my soul, my blood from all parasites, all worms, just really just cleansing my body. Um, you know, it's important. Health is important, and a lot of times I see it's ignorance when you don't know how to do it, right? So. But the thing is, when you're among unclean spirits, Dwayne Basso Bay, who, who obviously, you know, not only are they mentally uh, imbalanced, okay, but they, they, they possibly are, they are, um, they have a venereal disease or some sort of um, virus or something, and they not, and they are, it's, some of them might be trying to spread it deliberately, um, like the syphilis virus in Alabama. Uh, you all, I, mean, I always say you, you would think you, well history uh, how history presents this um, situation in Alabama you think that the people were um, victims but take, taking your thoughts on a different level what if it was done purposely there were many cases too many cases of people having HIV um, and spreading it purposely um, there were the coronavirus has been found in the semen of some individuals, the semen of men, of males, and some individuals. Um, so, it, would it be so far fetched to think that um, someone would have syphilis during that time and deliberately go in the population and spread it? Okay, looking for love because they love the population. They, I love the population. If they don't love me, I must be. They must be racist. They racist. So. Um, Something is wrong with some of the unclean spirits. Um, definitely, that's hence unclean. 
so a lot of things i couldn't believe here's so many um those are under status i'm not saying you know, are they definitely use the ones that present themselves in a um a behavior that wouldn't be considered civilized to say something about somebody who's being racist if i thought someone was racist okay if i thought if i thought someone was racist and didn't want to have anything to do with me that would be i that, that's fine i would be like cool you know and um i and growing up we had I, I went to school with people who had parents that were known to be connected to the kkk or they they the word was that they were connected to the kkk okay so the word was so but we still had to sit next to these um children okay we still we still i used to even heard the hear the word nigger when i was in the south but we still had the you know we we knew it was like okay don't go to that house to play because that that person is connected to the kkk or we know that um that their parents do not like um asiatics and at the time if before i was aware um um or melanated um, people, melanated children. So do you think we went to that house? No. Uh, so if I thought for whatever reason, because you know we're among unclean spirits that can control technology with their mind. Um, they sound like um, a robot. They can um, control the, the cell phone, what hats or whatever. Um, and not only that, they might be um, infested with a disease. If you really thought someone was racist and they don't want to have nothing to do with you, would you continuously try to engage okay unless you know something you're, you know that you are lacking so much in something that you cannot c carry on into the next lifeline you know you're trying to amalgamate you trying to, to um, you're trying to invade you're trying to um, stop something I would if someone told me a slavery Islam slavery so if if someone if if i knew someone did not want to have anything to do with me in a i'd be like no problem because that's that's freedom you don't have to like me you don't have to you don't have to think i'm cool you don't have to think i'm a good person but freedom is to respect boundaries and say okay i, I work with that person I work you know i live next to that person I don't go to that house respect their yard respect my that sort of thing you don't have that's freedom but when you're dealing with imbalance mentally ill demonic unclean spirits that will actually go to a point where they will stalk and if they cannot engage they will start sending um different um attacking you maybe through your genitals sending sharp pains um uh, to your joints not only that because in their mind they personalizing it like i love her but really what they're trying what really what they're doing is um being a part of that cycle that medical system cycle in that matrix because many remember many people are not healthy in the united states jurisdiction the jurisdiction is not considered civilized in reference to health that is mental health that's physical health that's spiritual health so they personalize it to keep the real reason of why they send in sharp pain, why they're attacking genitals, why they're attacking you in your sleep in the middle of the night, hidden. But it's definitely dealing with bondage, spirit possession, and um, uh, I guess that covers it all. Bondage and spirit possession. So you can be a robot and out of your natural, out of natural law. Because when you're in natural law, freedom exists. That's love, true peace, freedom, and justice. Freedom. The earth and the universe is made in freedom. Natural law, you don't have to, you and you respect someone's boundaries. You're not going to go and search and try to harm someone if they don't want to have nothing to do with you. You're not going to sit around their room or outside their house and their apartment stalking them, licking, licking to see if they're naked. Um, probably getting off or having orgasms somewhere or threatening their son threatening their son or their their little girl if um you if they can't if they cannot get you to communicate with them then they'll just go and start attacking your child to try to make you um be subjugated to amalgamate with something that is definitely unclean and demonic in spirit now that's sick right 
that's really sick that's uncivilized and that's a savage but that's what we are among and it's, it's, so it's so interesting to hear some of the status those mostly under the status of negro black or african american speak of someone being racist when i walk by it's like what what are they talking about racist or what but then once again i know we are among experiments islam um, maryland is one of the states that used to actually during the plant on the, when they had plantations that actually would breed the fathers with their daughters so they will put a hood over the the father's head and um not one document one of the states documented it happened all over but this is one of the states that were documented that did it heavily and the mothers with their sons and so and then they would uh, that's how they bred them okay so these were experiments that were done so they were greeting the parents with their kids or they you know so if children so it these were experiments so now they're taking it to a different level and um and experimentation because now you among um beings or uh, experiments there's nothing nothing amazing about them that's why they stalk and act like an animal there's nothing galactic nothing cosmic about them they're experiments and they put them out in the population to control and to um, subjugate to spread viruses to keep this fallacy of reality going on okay i when you are in your true state of mind and you are truly something of um, a divine divinity you don't stalk nobody you don't sit around and, and start speaking about someone being racist when they don't want to have nothing to do with you okay when you are something else in divine and divinity then you usually this is what happens people want to follow you islam they want to follow you and learn from you 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 no, nobody you you're not um <laughs> that's usually how it works <laughs> so this these are experimentations and they are really um demonic demonic in spirit so this is but unclean spirits are not just those in on the status of black or african-american you have unclean spirits um, in all um, i try my best to keep my spirit clean so i don't think negative thoughts but allah said protect yourself according to surah 2 surah 2 ayat 190 and 191 protect your temple and all so spiritually and mentally i'm always protecting my temple and, and um um and willing to do whatever it takes to keep it cleansed okay so many times i use the word kill that means i'm killing the spirit you know i'm not gonna kill someone on the physical plane unless i have to do it lawfully like if i'm protecting myself with a gun according to my amendment rights because someone's trying to rape me um um whatever yeah um rob me <laughs> yeah you know so this is so that's one of the things i wanted to speak to you about so predominantly i would say and definitely after um they uh, demonstrate some of them um like odd behavior or something uh, you know spirits start saying racist like uh okay well stay away from me you know because obviously it's how you know people say it so many times um, um, and this is male and female um that that's on the status of african-american black and i'm not saying this happening here in berkeley i'm just giving testimony i'm like okay fine be with your own be with your own and stay away from me and my child okay we don't want to have nothing to do with you on a personal level we don't know anyone personally here in, in annapolis maryland okay and um, nor do we uh, have an implied that we want to know someone person here in Annapolis, Maryland. We still connect and speak to the same wars we've been speaking to. So there is no reason for no one to be walking around here talking about someone racist when we we have an implied we want to get to know you in the first place. It's wrong. So, but when you're dealing with sickness, and not only that, but in, um, disease, problems, and venereal disease, whatever, and m mental illness then they cannot comprehend how that how is that simple all right because they're trying to slavery and amalgamate it's wrong so i'll talk to you later because when you're not in a constitutional fold and you're not in that spirit of freedom then the other the opposite of that is slavery is bondage so uh once again you wouldn't think uh, someone would spread diseases purposely but it will it, it is and when i speak about disease i'm not speaking about putting someone down because they've been um infected by disease nothing like that that's that's why i get testimony of my friends 
and not on I mean it's just you know anyway she she just won okay um, one person one lady I'm giving testimony about okay I am 46 years old I've, I know I've been around many many people who weren't perfect I worked in a hospital in um, their health so it's, it's it's not about that it's definitely about when you know when you have when you're among spirits who are deli deliver they know they might they are um uh, they might have herpes they might have gonorrhea they might have um they might have hiv because if they're willing to um um uh, connect with you if they do then they probably got something worse that's the problem and then deliberately spreading these um viruses in the population okay that that's the issue not only that they want they would threaten rape or do harmful things just so they can engage and say this is i have the right to do this what give, what right in your mental state of mind gives you the right to do such a thing if, and what you know where's your where's your thought process that's why i know i'm long you when you're dealing with demonic spirits demonic spirits then you cannot rational it. You just know they're unclean and demonic. Okay? So, what they will do is outside of my thought process is wrong. I cannot, it's like beyond my thought process because they're demonic. They're unclean. It's wrong. That's why I end this conversation with, I think. So, anyway, today was good. I'll talk to you later. Bye.